generals. Matt, how tough has it been to have your brother traded away to Sarnia last year, and what's that adjustment like in the lineup without him? Uh, you know, it's pretty difficult, I guess. Uh, played with him my whole life, so it's kind of difficult, but I guess you got to get used to him playing against each other in the following years. I know that people have always wondered if you guys would ever end up scrapping each other. You come close in the in the game that you played this year. You think that's a possibility? No, we love each other. My parents wouldn't be too happy either, so... No, my parents wouldn't be too happy about it, so no, I don't think so. There was a time, I don't know if you know, but Wayne Primo and Keith Primo beat the living crap out of each other in a Pittsburgh-Philadelphia game, so maybe they can't be that mad if it's happened before. Maybe it'll happen one day, but uh, not anytime soon, I guess. Parents, parents wouldn't be too pleased about it. How hard has it been for you this year? You know, you haven't scored a goal as yet, but uh, you've been out there for a physical energy role. Do you think you have to score to get yourself back in the lineup? Yeah, it's always tough to get that first one, but like, once you get the first one, they'll start coming to you. So just got to keep looking, for, looking, uh, looking ahead and keep playing my game, and hopefully one will come. What have you seen from the team so far? From up here, it looks like you guys really play for each other, and you're a close-knit group. Has that really helped with the record so far this year? Yeah, like we have great character, a lot better than last year. Last year, last year if we were down a couple goals, we wouldn't have come back. But this year, I feel our characters got a lot better, and uh, we can come back in those games. And uh, it's the atmosphere around this team. Everyone likes each other. We're all good, getting along, so it's great character. How big is it to get Scott Lawton back in the lineup? Since he's come back, you've only lost three times and won 12 of them. What does he mean to that locker room? Scott's a great leader. Uh, shows what to do on the ice and off the ice. Uh, great player, great back, great to have him back, and uh, just keep getting better from here with him. Out of all the new guys on the team, you guys got a whole lot of rookies. Who's the one that's been most impressed? Jacob Bush, for sure. Work, hard worker. He's gotten a lot better, and... Uh, it's great to have him on the team. It's great to have him. Sticks up for his players, scores goals, does everything, so he's a great player. What can you say about DJ Smith and the coaching staff? It, from up here, it looks like they've done a, such a great job in communicating. Do you guys feel that they're always explaining, and maybe if you're not in the lineup, do they come and tell you why, and then you have a better understanding of why you're not playing? Yeah, like, the communication with the coaches and the players are real good. Uh, they just basically told me why I wasn't playing, and I understood, and and uh, they'll usually tell you why and basically what they want you to do. So they, the communication is great and great coaching staff. But, uh, Everybody knows about Matt Hoare, the hockey player, but what can you tell us about Matt Hoare, the person? What do you like to do in your spare time? And if hockey doesn't work out, what is your uh, career goal after that? Uh, you know, um, going outside of hockey, I'll probably get into uh, going into school for a trade, like do an electrician probably or a plumber. But... Uh, I don't know, some of the stuff I do outside of hockey is uh, baseball, hanging out with friends, and just hanging out with family and friends, basically. You play the NHL games, you see yourself in there, does that give you a little bit of joy to see that name pop up and you know have your name called out by NHL announcers like Gary Thorne? Yeah, for sure. It feels great, great honor, and uh, just great honor. PS4 and Xbox is coming out in the next uh, week. Which one would you get if you if you had a choice? Probably the PS4 because it's uh, free for online. Got to save some money. And favorite movie of the summer before we let you go? Um, probably uh, We're the Millers. That's a good comedy. I like that one. All right, well, thanks a lot for that, and hopefully we see you out on the ice sooner than later. Thank you.